Hi everyone, I'm Adrian and I'll show you a simple tutorial on uh, how to use spider mode uh, version 0 0.9 Okay, so uh, after you download the spider mode archive you'll have something like this So to extract it, uh, if you have WinRAR you can right click it and uh, select extract here or extract through uh, boy spider mode 0 0.9 uh, so don't forget to have a folder clean folder for it so you'll not mess up the files so let's extract here or like so so uh, let's see after we extracted it we'll have uh, an exe a readme file and uh, five folders so make sure you have all of them uh, also make sure you extracted everything because many problems can uh, appear because you didn't extract everything uh, so it's a good idea to have a look inside uh, readme.txt Because you can find uh, here some interesting information and some general overview of settings so uh, let's open spider mode after you extract it uh, you can just run it and play without uh, connecting it to steam or something else but you need to have the game it's important so uh, after you run it you have this window uh, that you need to agree that you have uh, a legal copy of Binding of Isaac Wrath of Lamb as, uh, from Steam so uh, first time you open it um, uh, you will have the default option enabled so you we are playing now like uh, vanilla Isaac without any modifications and so on so uh, if you start now so you can see uh, the notification uh, about your using Spider-Man and the version you're using uh, and right and if you enable some options uh, like so you'll see the option enabled okay so let's disable this let's see uh, what each op option does so first we have file uh, menu and here we can uh, we have a save manager so we can backup or as a dot sol this is uh, the Isaac uh, save file from flash and uh, we can replace it if we have another save file from a friend or you just backup uh, another version of your save like a different path or wins and streak and so on um, so after uh, you choose to replace or backup you will be asked for a file in case of backup you will need to save it where you want to save it in case of replace uh, you uh, will need to select the file that you want to replace with and also it will ask you if you want to, uh, to backup it uh, if you answer yes it will create a copy of existing um, save with uh, uh, file name ending of dot back but if you do it another uh, another time with uh, another save uh, it will get overwrite so make sure make uh, use the backup options only on, once or only when 
you truly need it. In uh, the rest cases, use backup before doing the replace. Next, uh, next we have uh, items. So um, this, uh, these options are related to different items, trinkets and pills. So the first option is uh, a checkbox that um, you can enable custom starting items. Um, by enabling it and restarting you will not have nothing. Because uh, to edit your starting items you need to enter this in this option, edit starting items. Here you can find all the items which are binding of Isaac. Normal items because there are such things as undefined and so on. So you have a search bar where you can search for the item and press enter to enable or disable it. Also you can set the number of uh, of same items you want to give yourself, like free mom's, uh, mom's bottle of pills. So let's take um, max head, like <coughs> chain of it, and uh, mom's knife. No brimstone. Okay, so um, also you can um, select a startup uh, trinkets. So let's add fish head. I think mean, you can select a second uh, item too, but uh, a second trinket too. But you need to give yourself uh, mom's purse. So let's set it like so. Press OK. Make sure custom starting items is enabled, and let's restart. Uh, to restart, you just need to hold A, R, like so. So we have starting items that we set. Good. So now uh, let's say we've enabled uh, some starting items or so on, and uh, we want to find which items did did we enable. So we can sort uh, this um, list by on by clicking on the header like so. Also by item name and also the number of items. To disable all, you can just click reset all and don't forget to change the trinkets to none. So it's it's easier to reset all than going and disable each item. Okay. Uh, next, we have a uh, random starting item option. So let's restart. So what it, uh, this function does is it's allowing you to select how. Um, my, uh, a number of items, like let's say 15, uh, and uh, it will set a random, it will select a ran a 15 random num uh, items in the uh, starting items list, like so. Uh, keep in mind that uh, they can be um, spacebar items and they can overwrite each, uh, each other, so you may not know. Uh, not you may not feel exactly that you had uh, 15 starting items so uh, it's a good for challenges and so on okay so uh, next we have uh, give items so let's Let's disable uh, custom starting items for now because it's uh, just applying for this uh, to our options. Okay. So next we have give item. If you uh, select the give item function, uh, you have this uh, box that you can also uh, open with a shortcut F4. 
which I'll, I'm not gonna press now because uh, I'm recording and I forgot what are the shortcut keys. Okay, so um, here you can search the item you want, like knife, mouth knife, polyfilms, poly. So you can type a uh, partial name of the item. Also, you can uh, navigate um, uh, the list box by pressing up and down arrow keys. And by pressing enter, you select the item that is here. Or escape, you cancel it. Okay. Next, we have a give trinket card which use the same uh, same layout has the same layout and you can write here what you want two of, two of diamonds also um, both um, uh, both forms have a button round which will select a random item or trinket or card depending on which form you you are so you can give yourself a random item of card like so also good for challenge, uh, challenges and so on uh, next we have give random pill which will give you a random pill it's self-explanatory to give you a pill uh, also give random card same thing um, give a random, uh, random item so you can give yourself life items without going into this menu uh, this uh, form or we know um, also we have two, f uh, two functions uh, for re 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 rolling with d6 or with d20 without having the actual item so let's give myself poop like so and you can see we have an item here so if I already roll with d6 I don't have it and it will reroll the item it have the same, same functionality as d6 so items are removed from pool and so on also we can reroll re re with d20 like if you have pills all around so reroll so uh, we have just reruled re without d20 um, so this is for item category next we have a seed uh, so seed watch is uh, random seed the original Isaac uses the r r flash random function, which is not um, uh, it's not seeded. Uh, so what does this mean is the sequence of numbers which is get, it's uh, not predetermined predetermined from uh, some some point exactly. So you can get like one five four three next time two five. 5, 4 and so on but with uh, seeded random it tries to to give you a give, give you the same um, random uh, number sequence based on a, a starting seed starting seed is, a seed is not exactly the number that it will give but you don't need to know this because it's internal you just will see the outcome so uh, this is useful for for head head runs uh, like uh, challenges and so on when you want to repeat everything like like floors uh, items uh, same drops cards and so new in version uh, 0 0.9 uh, it will also repeat all, all the drops and um, at the end of the room or from machines and so on so uh, to enable it you need to check this option 
enable CD random. Let's restart. So now we have this seed. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. So you have this room, spiders, and so on. So if we will give you all ourself map and compass, like so, we can see the room layout. And now, if we will restart. So we'll have compass again and map. You'll see we have the same map layout and also the same room. Uh, so uh, now you, you need to keep uh, something in mind. Uh, so in order to do this, uh, random, random, f uh, the random function was uh, is using sessions. So. Each uh, random event in the game has each, each own session. So, like uh, type of coins drop, type of room layout, uh, drops from enemies, and so on. So, each session uh, uh, is sequential for entire game or for a floor. So, for example, items are for uh, for a floor for uh, per floor basis. So. Um, if we will go to item room like so you'll get a um, bottle of pills so if we take it uh, if we, we take it or see it um, you may think that the next uh, uh, next floor you'll see a different item or get another item uh, then if you will not go on the first floor on the first item room and you'll go on the second floor uh, it can be the case but not always because because um, binding of Isaac works on a stack a stack based um, item uh, items per uh, different pools uh, the a random uh, sequence which is generated from Spider-Man mod gets the, uh, the correct number, but uh, in, in depending on which item uh, you take previously, uh, you may land on a different item uh, next time. So, so let's see. For example, there are uh, those item, uh, items. D6, uh, D20, uh, Poly, well, something. So, if you uh, have um, a seated run and uh, you have like the number two, you get a D20 first, in the uh, first floor. Then on the second, you have um, three, so you get a Poly. So sorry, not uh, poly, but uh, because you take D20 on first one, you on the second floor you'll get uh, the third item will be mom, mom's bra, for example. But it, uh, for example, you didn't take D20 on the first floor, so you have the same same sequence two and three. So uh, the next floor you'll go, uh, you'll get a free. So um, you'll get Polyphemus instead. So keep this in mind. It's not something which uh, I'm in total control of. So uh, it's this uh, one of the things which you may see. So, but it also sell, uh, try to self uh, stabilize. So for example, if you have more item. So if you get d uh, D20 and then get another item, for example, uh, the fifth item, uh, we'll get item six. But if you'll get Polyphemus, an item, f 
uh, the same item uh, uh, fifth fifth item you'll get uh, the same item six so it's kind of self uh, st uh, stabilizing but uh, you still may get a different item so keep this in mind okay so uh, let's see and uh, next we have this function random seed that will create a random seed each time uh, we see this seed 87 at the end 93 uh, so um, it's useful if you want to regenerate new seeds next you have set seed a set seed it just opens this uh, box where you can set seed manually so if you uh, play hedge fed or something races uh, you may share the seed number and your partner will enter this number here also there is this option reset on dice uh, restart what this does is um, that for example uh, so if you don't have enabled uh, enable seed random you play uh, it uses the internal flash random function so it should behave like original but if you enable it uh, but for example if you have a run that you like it you cannot just take the seed from it because there is no information about the sec uh, random sequence so in order to have it you may want to enable seed random and also enable reseed on dice spawn so you will have a feeling no, actually it will be the same as um, vanilla isaac but it will not use the internal flash random algorithm uh, it will use uh, the one that I've added so it will be random each time like original but at any time in game if you like run you can go to seed set seed and copy the seed number so you can replay, replay it la later or just disable the reseed on dice spawn and you can repeat the same run so it's useful let's disable everything next we have cheats so cheats um, have the following options open cheat window this is the most important one of course here we have a che uh, cheat list the cheats are from, uh, for an, uh, from an xml file which are located here cheats default xml you can add uh, your cheats or download uh, our people's cheats uh, and you don't need to replace default XML, you can add another XML files on top uh, and so on and it will read it and add to the list so you can look for the default XML for the format of the cheats but uh, if you don't need it, you don't need, you need to know about it uh, if you are a basic user so uh, uh, here we have uh, the cheats that you may want to enable, disable uh, there are groups that you can open, close, like so. So to enable it, you just click the, this checkbox. Uh, so now we have infinite health. You can close this. So you see, our uh, health is not going down. So you may play with cheats and see different che cheats, what they do, and so on. Uh, some cheats uh, have um, the option, uh, have the ability to edit their values. So for example, max damage, if you double click on it, it will open a dialog, but you may enter the amount of base damage you want to have, like let's say 500. So now we shoot with big tears. But if if we will set this to ten, we will have a smaller uh, tears. Also, like set uh, Isaac head scale, like we can modify it to two uh, hundred or smaller. Isaac scale, the same thing. This is overall scale. 
also play with these cheats and see. Uh, also you have a search box like grid. You'll see only grid always. Uh, you can see which he, he, each selected grid always spawns in secret room. Also you have this, uh, this button that will uncheck all. It will uncheck all the cheats so you will not have to search for all the ch enabled cheats. Uh, next we have the stats cheats which uh, you can edit the hard containers like 5, 4, you see also you can get uh, in game hard containers uh, number of hearts uh, it's in halves it's, it's in halves so 6 halves is 3 hearts so like 4 over 8 will, will have 4 hearts also spirit hearts are in halves luck luck is in units so 10 luck is 10 luck tears is in uh, 1 of 10 so like 10 it will be uh, tears of 1 uh, same with range, speed and so on so after you set the value you need to press set if you want to get the in-game value, you might press get. Uh, so those are upgrades, the, those are not actually stats in the game. So if you pre press get in the game, is not the actual stat in the game, is not zero. Uh, we'll see the stats later. Also, you have coins, bombs, and keys. So also, we can edit, edit the pills. Uh, so if you have some pills already discovered, like balls of teals. If you press get, you'll see the pill that you already know and pill C you don't know. You can hover your mouse uh, over um, the names, so pill 1, 2, 3, to see the pill color. Also you can set the pills as you want. So let's set explosive diarrhea. Next we have um, uh, random, which you will uh, reset all the pills to undefined. So we will uh, start from scratch. Uh, so this is all in cheats. We know. Next we have uh, teleport room, which will give uh, you a map uh, where you can choose a room where you want to teleport. Also, you can teleport to devil room and I room. I am error room. Next, we have go to floor, but you can select which floor we want to go. Uh, so uh, the floor chain doesn't exist, but she's uh, uh, but I have added it because um, nine is a shawl and. Um, Cathedral is an alternative to shawl, so I have added a chain as an alternative to 9, so if you want to cathedral, you can set it to chain. If you want shawl, you can set it to 9. And if you want chest, you'll set it to 11. Okay, so uh, next we have player color. Set it back, set it to white. Uh, show uh, show item uh, trinkets card info uh, function. Um, it will it will show the current spacebar item you have, and also uh, the cards you have and trinkets you have, and also the items which are in the room. So. Let's see. Let's set chunk keys and open these chests like so. And if you are starting just by binding of Isaac or uh, just played like 600 episodes and don't know all the Indians what they do, you can go to cheats, show Indian trinkets and card info. 
before taking the items and you can read everything about the items also you can click show all to see every item in the game and description this description is not based on um, wikipedia so it's not uh, so wrong as the one on uh, not wikipedia but wiki sorry uh, binding of isaac wiki so it is more realistic taken from actually game code and uh, tested and known things so it's more correct and thanks to uh, elucidate for uh, creating this description also we have show on in tips which is the same as um, the escape function like here but it not uh, is not kept so you, you'll see all the items so let's take something. Also, you can uh, open that uh, dialog with tab. Uh, holding it down. Also, you can click on uh, in items to go to wiki page uh, and hold over it to see the item name. Item name, sorry. Uh, so next we have uh, show damage on hit. This what this will do is uh, when we'll hit on the enemy, you'll see some numbers over. Uh, let's find some enemies. Uh, you see the, how much damage you'll uh, do to that enemy on hit. So 3.5 is as a base damage. Uh, keep in mind that uh, this uh, option can add some lag because uh, text have many edges so in order to render it smoothly uh, flash needs to uh, uh, to uh, make all the curves on the text and so on so keep in mind if you have high high rate of fire it may lag your game a little bit also we have show HP on hit so when you hit an enemy it, you see a HP bar below so it's good for uh, knowing the actual health bar it's actually better than the top bar because it's some en enemies have more HP starting HP than the maximum HP we have and my bar is auto adjusting to the correct maximum HP. Uh, also, let's see, we have show enemy HP numbers on hit, so it will show a fractional number. It's the uh, HP which the, item, uh, the enemy has right now, and uh, Jen is the f maximum HP it has. So, those enemies have Jen HP. And after I hit, it has 6.5 from Chen. Okay, so next, uh, next we have challenges. Challenges, um, we'll get back to them later. Fixes. So fixes are uh, different fixes that I've added in order to fix some game bugs or uh, unintended. Uh, things that were, were added or pro programmed uh, in the way that was not designed. So, for example, fix explosive diarrhea will fix the bug where you do, don't get any explosive diarrhea. Uh, fix uh, challenge room fly spawn will fix the problem wh where some challenge room uh, spawns uh, uh, two waves of flies fix the habit, it will fix the habit to have the actual design of Edmund McMillan that uh, will give you a, a charge of the... so when you will get hit, you will get the same number of charges that you get from, the, from finishing one room instead of having three charges. Uh, fix secret, uh, secret room placement uh, it will try to find the correct placement 
like between three or four addition adjacent room if they exist instead of just randomly uh, randomly uh, generate some uh, secret uh, item on after uh, 300 tries just place it in any place you know the problem uh, when let's see if you go through items any starting items so let's give ourselves a map like so and enable custom uh, custom starting items so you can see uh, now a secret room is okay placed because we have don't have three adjacent rooms but we have two okay 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 now this is a bad placement because we have three adjacent room uh, place for it and um, and it um, didn't actually place in a logical way how it was designed so um, this is because of bad algorithm of placing it uh, also it, it takes into account the top secret room so if we teleport through this room uh, sometimes it it can be so it, in original Isaac you can find the top secret room uh, if you know the secret room because it can be adjacent to the top secret room yeah, he, here is not the case so now if you enable the fix fix secret room placement you should get correct placement Here it doesn't have three decent room, uh, rooms to place it. Okay. Next we have uh, fixed telepills uh, because um, telepills cannot teleport to two rooms. Uh, this will fix it, so it can actually teleport to two rooms as it was intended. Uh, also, we have fixed uh, item description. So, for example, if we have um, steam cells. Let's take it. Uh, we see that she's uh, just held up. But if we fix and fix item description, and if we'll take now steam cells, you see HP up plus short speed. Also. Toothpicks will give you shot speed up. Also, thanks to Elucidate for uh, creating these descriptions. Uh, double buffering, forget about it, it will be removed. Uh, it was intended to uh, fix some flickering, but uh, it, it adds. Um, it adds uh, a black screen when you enter in the next room. So, yes. Uh, also, we have black background, which will replace the default background of Isaac with a black one, in case you record and you record uh, all the screen and don't want to see the actual background of Isaac. Okay. Next, we have internals. So, first option in inter internals is show stats. So, what this does, it show your maximum damage for the right and left eye tooth damage also for the right and left eye your speed show delay range and shot speed so this is the actual values from the game and not just graphical mm, incorrect res uh, visual representation of it um, Next, we have item uh, pulse editor. It's for people who know how to use it. It um, basically allows you to uh, edit the pulse, like item pulse, devil room pulse, 
sacrifice, sacrifice uh, room oh sorry uh, course room pools and uh, like chest pools and so on so you can analyze it also it's good for if you break it the game you can analyze uh, the items that were added or existing already in the pools so to add a, an item you just press add and you know already this dialog press ok amount of how many items you want to add and able you need to apply it after adding to remove it you need to select the items you want to remove and press remove and then apply don't forget also you can save to file and load from file it will save and load from an XML file which you can share and so on or load it later so you not bother with uh, by editing the items each time okay so next we have uh, floor editor uh, here we c you can edit the floor uh, you, are, you are on by selecting some rooms and editing the room codes you can get it from by selecting them you can see the code here uh, 56 uh, keep, keep in mind that uh, room codes are actually related to uh, type of uh, floor you have like basement cellar uh, necropolis so you, you have a different floor uh, room layout depending on that floor uh, you, you see this uh, here a list the presentation of the rooms and here is the visual representation so you have uh, room type you can select the room type uh, this, uh, so you select the room and you can edit uh, the, here the room type like normal top secret room and so on uh, here you can uh, edit the set and angel room value so you have set uh, theta for if I remember correctly for angel room also error uh, room type of air room you can get the codes from actual floors and see uh, also we have a checkbox for all alternative chapter so alternative chapter for example uh, for basement is cellar and depth is necropolis and so on XL floors it's XL floors double floors uh, angel room if you want to spawn an angel room instead of devil room so uh, yes yeah, so it's not the satan uh, sata is devil room but uh, one of them is um, one of the values is um, uh, krampus so i don't remember now uh, but you you can check it and find the right value is not a problem to find Krampus. Uh, next, we have alternative boss. Uh, one, an alternative boss two. It's a value that uh, sets the uh, alternative boss. So, for example, uh, some bosses have al alternates, um, and they can have value of one or two. Uh, like Chab can have her and queen. And so on. Uh, you may experience it. Also, you can use this bot uh, boss list uh, button to get uh, the bosses from a preset. Like it will set automatically. Uh, so, boss uh, one ID and boss two ID is for the um, uh, image and uh, boss description when you enter the boss room, like Isaac versus blah 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 boss name. So uh, let's see. If you select uh, a boss um, list preset, you can see you have two checkboxes: normal room and is second boss. So in normal room, uh, it will not change anything here. But uh, if, for example, you are on boss room, and uh, it will automatically disable it, and if you select something else will change the values here so you see so this is done automatically but you always can do this manually 
so yeah uh, satan is 10 uh, this is all experiment and try different values and see what you get don't forget you know you can always inspect the actual room values okay after you've applied your room layout you can up, uh, press apply or cancel through the, uh, through cancel every changes and also you can save a lot from uh, to an xml file share it on or load it later next we have a uh, create object which will spawn a game object if you know the, the correct uh, uh, object code you can get it from um, from this link so elucidate create created uh, this code list for you it's not full yet but many uh, sorry many items are already here so let's see for example we want uh, a dime select this code or write it by hand so we, we can ha have many dimes we can also uh, spawn like mm, Uh, enemies, many enemies, some familiars, many familiars, but this is for one room. Okay, uh, experiment with it and have fun. Uh, next, we have a variable debug, is for uh, more advanced user, users that should know how flash work and how. Uh, uh, what is the binding of the code so you can write something like world uh, but I actually have a map and you can bug like watch balls ball then so now it's only one instance Isaac here are true Isaac on the chest and so on uh, keep in mind that this value is a uh, string so when you press set sometimes it will work okay with string because flash uh, converts it automatically but sometimes it will not work okay because it ne needs numbers uh, it will be improved later so to set you press set Next we have a second save, so this will allow you to use a different save file in case you want to keep uh, your original save. This second save will not use, uh, not connect to Steam, Steam achievement and so on, so you can play for example Platinum God f a file and um, it will not uh, overwrite your, your progress. Also you can duplicate the original save so to not uh, to have the uh, same uh, progress but should not affect the original one backup replace this are the same as here but for the second save next we have screenshot so you can take screenshots and show uh, if you check show items it will add on the bottom your item list Like so. Mm. Let's see. You can also also record GIF animation. So uh, you uh, don't forget to get, go to settings and see. For example, uh, here we have animation delay, which uh, is a delay between uh, frames already recorded. Uh, steam comp uh, stream compression level it's the PNG compression level uh, for the recording stream um, it's recommended to keep it uh, not too high not too low because it's if it's too low it will uh, create a big stream file 
and it will take a big space on your hard disk on the recording and if it's too high it will lag your game a lot so keep it optimal also uh, record delay is the uh, how uh, how much um, delay is between the frames that are taken when you are recording so 33 are like uh, 30 frames per second which is too many uh, you'll get a big file GIF file so you can set your setting here so key, hit record to start recording and hit record again, again to stop recording it will ask you where you want to save the, the record file and it will render it next you have Xbox controller you can enable it here and also enable vibration so when you will get hit uh, it will vibrate in the window we have a fixed ratio uh, fixed ratio, uh, ratio will try to keep the window borders around the actual game uh, game uh, rect rectangle um, also have full screen which or works also with the in-game full screen option uh, vector resize watch the vector resize is actually uh, now the window when it's not enabled the window renders to original uh, window si uh, the, the medium window size of Isaac if you remember from original Isaac and then scales the image to actually uh, to your actual um, window size but with uh, vector size it will actually scale the flash movie clip to the actual window size so you can see for example the graphics here if you go to another room you can see that uh, it look pretty good but if you enable window uh, or disable vector size you, you'll see some visible artifacts you need to try it and, and see it it's not a big deal but uh, just to know also, uh, also vector size could be not, uh, not so optimal on big screens because uh, flash needs to raster every vector graphic on the actual resolution you you're reading so uh, make sure uh, to experiment it before uh, choosing the option you want to go so, so find the setting you it's more optimal for you next uh, we have a use window rec uh, rendering mode which in some computers is um, uh, Spider-Man by default uses um, direct rendering mode which is uh, Flash trying to use GPU acceleration for drawing um, so hardware acceleration and uh, if uh, you have some problems with recording and so on you can try this option uh, use the window rendering mode and you need to restart the game so it may improve performance or, or um, or recording problems that you may have but it's recommended if it not, doesn't improve a, a, anything or doesn't work it's recommended without it uh, so if it doesn't work for you just leave this option uh, disabled also you can set the window size to default which is starting the default window size of spider mode when you're starting for the first time also you can uh, limit uh, your cursor movement to the screen uh, so it's useful for um, uh, epic fetus like so I cannot go outside the screen so you might, might not click something uh, unintentional when you go uh, once you exit this mode you can hit escape or alt so now I can go outside the window so help about box it is uh, self-explanatory next we have ch uh, challenges so 
uh, how challenges works you enable some cheats you can set the seed you can set the starting items and um, also you can set the color of your character and also you can set the edit item pools after that you can save uh, go through challenges save challenge and it will save uh, every option here which you have enabled uh, no, uh, which i said earlier uh, item pools cheats seed and it starting items Next, when you have one true run and a challenge, you press open challenge and select that file, and it will put you in challenge mode. What does uh, what the challenge uh, mode does? It will uh, every time you start the game or restart, it will enable all that options that are in the challenge file, and make sure that you have uh, challenge items and conditions like color and. Um, uh, it impulse uh, tricks the challenge mode and just go to challenge and disable challenge mode so you can play normally and this is all for the interface options you can also hit right click and see the flash player menu which was disabled and originalized okay now let's see um, what uh, how to uh, connect it to Steam. So in order to connect it to Steam, let's close it. You need to unpack it uh, with zip file or just copy after uh, unpacking it. You need to copy it to the actual Steam uh, Steam game, which is usually in C program file, Steam, Steam application, common binding of Isaac uh, copy and paste like so let me back up it okay place like so now it um, it will still uh, be your original Isaac. You need to do some renaming. You need to rename original Isaac to something else like Isaac original, and the spider mode rename to Isaac. Now, when you launch it from Steam, you now play Binding of Isaac on Steam. Okay. Now, if you want, for example, uh, now if you want, for example, to uh, to have both uh, games, to run both games, like original and Spider mode, uh, there is a tool for you. It's called uh, Isaac Launcher. Is in Tools folder. Now go to Tools folder. Copy both files into root folder. Like so. Uh, rename uh, uh, Spider Mod Isaac to something like Isaac Spider Mod. Uh, open Launch Applications .ini and uh, change the file names accordingly. Original Isaac is Isaac original in my case and spider mod Isaac is Isaac spider mod okay save it and close it and rename the Isaac launcher through Isaac.exe when you run, run it from Steam play okay you'll have this uh, starting uh, option where you can play original or spider mode so now it's original uh, one second okay okay there we go uh, now it's spider mode it's failed to sync because uh, it's now 
have many achievements unlocked because I'm using a different uh, Steam account for this. Uh, yeah, and didn't have platinum. Gold. Hey, never mind. Not a big problem. Uh, but keep in mind, uh, you can mess your Steam achievements uh, with Spider Mod, so it's better to have Platinum God b b before starting with it. But if you don't have it, it use the second save for it. Okay, so um, next watch problem may appear. If you have white screen or gray screen, make sure you have Flash for Internet Explorer. It's Flash for, for Internet Explorer. So you go to Google. Let's right, get Flash player. Okay, so you have this link. You also can get it through from text file uh, readme.txt. You go to this site and um, need f a Flash for a different computer. Uh, press this link and select Nopter operating system and select version flash for Internet Explorer. It's Internet Explorer. Okay, this is important. Now, load now and install. And it should work. Okay, so this is all. Thank you for your time. And if you have any question, please leave a comment and hope this uh, was helpful f for you and solved your problems so bye see you next time